We'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. Black, black shot. White, white. Yellow. Mon looks to throw. This will be caught once again by Brown. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Ultra, go ultra. Ready? Here's Mon. And that's going to be incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to the air, Mond. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with ten seconds left. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw again. Looking deep here for Chase. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. still remain we step aside this is the nfl on ea sports and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter the box set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. Charlie Jones now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Right. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, a give to Brown. And he'll work this one out to about the 38. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There sure must be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Black Ultra. On second down, Mon. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Third down from the gun, it's Mon. And it is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Check Fury. Inside handoff to Mixon. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Oftentimes we're playing an offense for their variety, being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Ready. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Mon now off a of play action. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. At that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession touchdowns on their first three possessions I mean this defense they can't seem to stop them it's like they're on skates great analogy Brandon because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone so to themselves all they're saying is if we don't make a mistake there's no way they can stop us they'll run with Hunt on second down 
And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They'll run again with Hunt. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now a second down throw for Cousins. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 42. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Cousins now. And that is intercepted. Or was it? We just say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. So second and ten, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A few moving pieces on that play, because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot, and turned it into a nice game. And he will have a Vikings first down as they get five there on third and two. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 25, here's second and six. On play action, Cousins. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 15-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Cousins throwing quickly out for Jefferson. And he's brought down. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Hunt will take this into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. So that's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, 
They seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. And oh, it's wide right. No good. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. on third down. They've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. This will be third and five. Seven Pirates! Seven Pirates! And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. yards last time now they double it and get 10 here this defense has certainly had an outstanding second half haven't they i know they just gave up a first down there for the offense they're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better but it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half hey 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 let's go they're going to throw again here, Oladokun. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. A three-score game here late. You could probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff would be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting. Touchdown, Vikings! Jordan Addison, 26 yards. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Out 
is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Ready, the Bengals drive about to get going. Remember, they have won seven, three seven, straight, seven, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter Ready. hole. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Able to find Higgins. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Again on second down, it's Oladokun. He gets this one to Boyd. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On third down, Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Daniil Hunter able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. In motion right here, boy. Oladokun now on second down. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And the Vikings are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games where you just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. A give right side now to Hunt. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. On right, second down, right back to Hunt. Five yards, now it's third and five. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here is third and five. They go play action. Cousins. And that is incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. 
They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Panther 60, Panther 60. They'll get this out wide to Boyd. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Ten more there and another first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Oladokun fakes again. Now he'll throw it. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go right back to the ground here in Brown. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. They go play action, and now here's Oladokun. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights that should have been a touchdown but somehow this ball's overthrown and on third and five this will be the eighth play of the drive Nothing, 19. 70 ranger 70 ranger panther 11 panther 11 trap 60 trap 60 ready right only joking And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Ready? Oladokun, desperation time on fourth. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. And they will take a knee here. And they'll take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go.
And they take a knee. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. So for Minnesota, it's a fourth win of the campaign as they get to...